Attorneys for the former MPD officers charged in the death of Tyree Nichols say they are still waiting for key documents from Memphis police. This morning, the attorneys for the five defendants were present for a status hearing in the case. In addition to seeking more documents, there was yet another request from one of the defendants for a separate trial. Action News 5's Kelly Cook live in studio now with this story. Kelly. Joy, this morning a motion was filed on behalf of a third defendant asking for that separate trial. We're talking about former MPD officer Desmond Mills' attorney who filed that motion this morning. Mills joins two other defendants, Tadarius Bean and Justin Smith, who filed a similar motion back in June. Mills' attorney, Blake Ballin, said while there were two separate crime scenes involving Nichols, his client was only present at one. He's arguing that may confuse the jury. The state is asking the judge to rule against the motion and allow all five former officers to be tried at once. Meanwhile, prosecutors say they have turned over all discovery in the case and say in the coming weeks we may learn a more concrete timeline for a trial. But defense attorney Blake Ballin says without requested documents of MPD's use of force policy, he cannot complete his client's defense. But we don't have anything yet. We've uh, we've asked for it. You know, I have a, a an expert hired that has been doing this for years, if not decades, and so they've given me a list of of what they need: uh, training records, uh, documents, manuals. Prosecutor Paul Hagerman says those documents are not in his possession. Defense attorneys will have to request those documents through the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Meanwhile, the next court hearing will take place September 15th at 1 p.m. At that time, we should have a decision regarding requests for separate trials. All five defendants will have to be present for that hearing. In studio, Kelly Cook, Action News 5. All right, Kelly, thank you, and be sure to stay with Action News 5 as we continue to cover this story. You can follow the latest developments with the Tyree Nichols case and the Department of Justice's investigation right here on the air on actionnews5.com and with our mobile app.